So this is the circuit right here. It's a MOSFET and a uh, two resistors and pin D11 from the Arduino Nano, which is the PWM output that I'm using to shut off and on the uh, Stepcraft motor controller, is uh, going into a resistor and to the gate of the MOSFET. And then there's a, uh, there's a resistor at the gate to the ground, just below that one, a 10K ohm that uh, drains the gate after the, when the signal goes low. So you want to pull it high and then you want it to drop to zero quickly. So that's what that's there for. The uh, blue line is running out of the drain of the MOSFET. It's an end channel so it uses the negative side of the system rather than the positive side and you'll see that runs directly to the negative side of the motor or the positive side. It doesn't really care. The motor's not it's unidirectional. The power supply, the positive side, is then hooked up to the other side of the motor. The negative side of the power supply is to the ground of the system. Uh, also, the uh, source of the MOSFET is grounded as well. So the MOSFET switches between gr uh, the ground, essentially. Um, so that's it. Now the motor's off. I have it set to zero. I'm going to turn it on to about the minimum speed it'll run. Anything below this, it doesn't move the motor, although it is switching. The motor just doesn't respond. So, S200, that's about one fifth PWM. And you can see the movement, motor is moving slowly. Okay. And I'll switch it up. A little faster. Let's go with 50%. And you see it's running faster. And then I'll switch it to 100%. the motor is running at its full speed that the PWM circuit will drive it. Uh, the PWM output is uh, should be solid at that point or all on all the time. And if you see the power supply, I'm at the 24 volt setting of that power supply. It's not a variable. It's the variability is coming through the MOSFET. Uh, it could be a 36 uh, volt power supply, even higher, whatever the motor can take. But uh, the MOSFET is a 60 volt MOSFET uh, 10 amp, which is uh, enough to drive this. In fact, that MOSFET is cool to the touch at full power. But at slower speeds, it heats up quite a bit. And uh, because of the, the uh, switch it's not on all the time instead it's being switched so as soon as it starts switching and actually the slower it switches the more heat it generates um, so a heat sink is needed uh, not a very big one just some kind of a heat sink uh, there are other MOSFETs that may run cooler MOSFETs are cheap in quite a number of varieties this is a logic level MOSFET designed to run with a digital circuit like the Arduino Nano or any other 0 to 5 volt system, digital system. And I'll shut the motor off by setting S to 0 and the motor just came off.